So grab your Bibles, not idols. Lean on scripture, not titles. Every verse you rehearse leads to a great revival of your mind and soul, giving back your control of your life and decisions and how to handle this role as his devoted servant. Fulfilling your purpose while only scratching the surface, but you'll see it's well worth it. Your attitude will improve as you grow and mature, providing patience, understanding as you endure with your walk, your journey, and this cross you now carry. It's quite contrary from the life you once married, so stop hating like Satan or perpetrated and faking. It's your mind is invaded, so quit contemplating. Remove those thoughts of desire. You're only quenching a fire of sin from within until this life expires. The only way to succeed is to avoid temptation, the incarceration of generations. Don't lose hope. Avoid snares and ropes tearing you from within until you feel you can't cope with reality. But family, trust me, you're unshackled and free from spider envy by the blood of our Lord with one accord. Submit to him holy or face death by the sword. We've been given permission to carry the mission of the gospel of Christ to those who listen, who submit to our Lord and change their behaviors. Encourage each neighbor to live for our Savior. Remove the guilt from your mind and the weight from your spine of your past transgressions and total crimes withheld you in contempt but he's heavenly sent we pay our tithes like a rent with each moment we spent lost on this earth commuted in our hearse dying for a curse awaiting this rebirth so renew your conscience don't be anxious that the salvation aid you with your temptation he is the key to our future our commander in chief since adam and eve providing us depth relief jesus